how to install Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K40, the Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 on the Poco F3, the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now I do have the Poco F3 but again the process will work on both the Redmi K40 and the Xiaomi Mi 11X as well because all three of these are same devices sold under different names in different regions. Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery installed. We are going to use TWRP by Vashisht and how do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install a custom recovery on your device? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Another thing, make sure you do have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Another thing which is recommended is that you come from stock me UI for your Poco F3 Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 and how do you go back to stock from a custom ROM videos for those can also be found in the description of this video. Now another important thing to note over here is that at the time of recording this video we do not have any official build of Lineage OS available for the Poco F3 the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 so we are using an unofficial build but if and when official builds are released the process will still remain the same and all the files which you need are again linked in the description of this video so you do need the ROM itself which is your Lineage OS and in case you want to flash Google Apps you also need a Google Apps package the package which we are using in this video is the one which is recommended by the developer of Lineage OS. So here it is, I do have the POCO F3 which right now is running stock MIUI 12.5.1 stable based on Android 11. Again, it is recommended that you switch from stock MIUI to your custom ROM and of course videos on how to go back to stock can be found in the description of this video. Next thing we are going to do is we will go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into twrp recovery so first of all turn off your device and once the device is turned off Press and hold power and volume up together and once you feel the vibration you can let go of the power button so there it is I felt the vibration let go of the power button volume up was still pressed so here we are we have booted into our custom recovery which is TWRP go into wipe advanced wipe and select Dalvik slash art and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the ROM and your Google Apps package in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder so here it is we do have the lineage OS build along with flame G apps and if you transfer it manually you would know where it is so we will go back into download first of all select this file which is your lineage OS 18.1 and make sure that inject TWRP after install is checked because if it is not checked then your recovery will be replaced and once you have confirmed that swipe to confirm flash once the ROM has flashed and TWRP has been injected we need to make sure we got no errors so here it is we are flashing lineage OS 18.1 step 1 of 2 step 2 of 2 all done everything is fine next up it is unpacking the boot and then repacking it so this is the step wherein we are ensuring that twrp is not replaced and the text in red can be ignored next up tap on the home button go back into install and this time select the google apps package and again make sure that inject twrp after install is checked and once that is done swipe to confirm flash 
Now once Google Apps have flashed, again, make sure there were no errors. So here it is, we are flashing Flame G Apps and everything was installed without any issues, installation successful. Similarly, it is again unpacking, repacking your TWRP. There were no errors, image flash completed in both the cases, the text in red can be ignored. Now another double check you can do over here to ensure that Google Apps were flashed to the correct slot is if you scroll all the way up right so here it is we are flashing the rom itself and as you can see it is flashing it to the inactive slot which is a right that is what it says over there and if you see the install log for flame g apps again you will see the current boot slot is set as a so both of them are a and that means google apps were flashed to the correct slot next up tap on the home button go into reboot and then select recovery so we have now booted back into twrp we will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so again make sure you do have a backup of all those things now as you can see we did get some errors but the important thing is you read before the errors so while we are doing the format data there were no errors and you see this done below mtp enabled this makes sure that format data was successful you have it here as well formatting metadata using mke2fs so again no errors with respect to format data the errors are with respect to mounting some partitions which can be ignored so all you need to do next is select reboot system and there it is we do have the lineage os boot animation on our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 which means we are booting into lineage os and of course the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient so there it is we are on the setup screen and let me skip the initial setup real quick and bam we are on the home screen we do see the play store which means google apps were installed without any issues we can now go into settings and if you go into about phone here and if i tap on the android version bam here it is lineage os version is 18.1 android version of course is set as 11 and the security patch is from July 2021 which is the latest at the time of recording this video and we have now successfully installed Lineage OS 18.1 on our POCO F3, the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X.